just a few days ago, the MTA released the new draft plans for the Queen's bus redesign. This new redesign sees the removal of over 1,600 bus stops, stops that cause unbearable headways. With this borough being largely served by buses and not having many good rail connections, this is a good sign, but let's not get too excited yet. The plans have not been put in place yet, and this is still a draft, so things are subject to change. First off, I would like to give my thoughts on the redesign. Now, I don't live in Queens, and whenever I do go, it's usually by subway, so I can't give an ultra detailed analysis on every single line, but I can point out some of the lines that I've taken the most, and what I believe are great changes and additions. So let's talk about the Q44 bus. With the new redesign plans, the Q44 will be keeping its existing routing while also being extended further into the Bronx, up to Fordham Plaza. I think this is a pretty good change, and I can definitely see myself using the Q44 bus more with it. Not only will this new routing allow for people living in Fordham to be able to get into Queens quicker, but it will also provide them with a new way to get cross town in the Bronx. Currently, the only way to get from Fordham to Parkchester by bus is by taking the BX22, which constantly gets stuck in traffic along the various streets it runs on. With these changes, commuters will now be able to take the Q44 bus, which makes less intermediate stops and takes a different routing along 182nd Street, which hopefully will be less congested than White Plains Road. Overall, I think the improvements to the Q44 are great, and I'm excited to see it extended in the future. There is one change I would like to see with the route though, and that is extending the line to JFK Airport. I think it would be extremely beneficial for the Q44 to run to JFK, as it will give riders living in the Bronx a faster and cheaper way to get there, as currently, the only real options are driving, taking a taxi, or taking the subway. All of which are way more expensive than just taking the bus for 275. You may be wondering how the subway is more expensive than taking the bus, but you gotta remember, the subway doesn't directly connect to JFK. Once you get off the train at Suffin Boulevard or Howard Beach, you need to get on the air train, which actually just had its fare increased by the Port Authority to $8. Now I don't see a reason as to why the Q44 can't be extended, as its sister route, the Q50, which also runs into the Bronx, is getting extended to LaGuardia. I think it would be a good idea to have both of these routes running to airports as it would improve connectivity into the Bronx and would help commuters avoid having to make long and expensive trips there on other modes of transport. I only hope that with the Q50 being extended and turned into a select bus route, it gets articulated buses and luggage racks because it would not be enjoyable to ride a crowded bus with multiple suitcases hitting you in the- Anyway, maybe this will be alleviated with the new frequency changes, as the MTA proposed running buses every 10 minutes during peak times and every 15 minutes during off-peak hours. Now outside of those two routes, I've seen many commending the MTA for making routes more simpler, considering bus priority, and also providing areas under rapid development like Hunter's Point with more service. I myself have also seen some good additions to the network like the B53 that connects multiple subway lines with each other. Also, the inclusion of various bus types like Local, Limited, Rush, and Select will give commuters more options, along with faster ways to get around. People wanting to get to subway stations can take a rush route, which will skip many of the stops a normal local bus route would stop at. I like the changes proposed in this new draft plan, and hopefully, when all of this is finalized and put in place, we can see the MTA's draft plans on a Manhattan bus redesign, along with a completely independent express bus redesign, because I feel like there are a lot of things the express buses can improve on. The MTA still needs to get community feedback on these draft plans to construct the final plan and start implementing these changes, so it is still a ways off. Anyway though, what are your thoughts on the Queen's Bus redesign? Is there anything you would change with it? Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below, and if you would like to see more content like this in the future, like, subscribe, and consider becoming a channel member.